welcome to this episode of the Road to Tokyo show. The world has become a different place, and while we still have the same show, we're adapting to a new normal. Using social distancing and technology to curb the spread of the coronavirus, we're still able to keep you updated on Team SA's preparation for the Games. For the first time since World War II, the Olympics and Paralympics have been postponed and are set to be held in 2021. Coming up, gymnast Caitlin Roosglantz continues to defy the odds. We catch up with Olympic silver medalist Lawrence Britton. We dive in deep with para swimmer Hendrik van der Merwe. And finally, we talk the ins and outs of sports administration with Saskok. Renowned fitness coach, motivational speaker and swimmer, Hendrik van der Merwe is no stranger to the world stage, having competed in Glasgow, Rio, Canada and London. Coach Legs is said to become a global name. My name is Hendrik van der Merwe, but everyone calls me Coach Legs. Uh, I participate in the best sport, which is swimming. Uh, it's actually a very interesting story. We used to fight a lot in, in the hostel in the afternoons at school. So I started uh, swimming as a way to get out of hostel in the afternoons. Plus I got to skip study time, which is great. Uh, so I don't know much about my disability, people always ask me, uh, but it's called spina bifida, I was born this way. I would rather say sport has affected my disability because uh, it helps with so many health issues to prevent a lot of health issues. When you're fit and healthy, you live a good lifestyle, not just physically but mentally as well. Definitely think swimming has played a major, major role in uh, my success as an athlete, as an everyday human being and just living in a good mental space because that's where progress starts, is from your mental space. Uh, my proudest accomplishment is breaking SA records when I was a teenager and then most definitely competing in Rio Brazil in 2016 before the Paralympics. I did a preliminary competition and Brazil's a place I've always wanted to visit, so that's definitely the highlight of my career. So, pretty much, besides living at home, COVID hasn't changed much, besides the fact that I can't get to a pool. But diet-wise and resume, I believe in a lifestyle. So, it's all about the lifestyle, nothing has changed. I always eat quite healthy, with some ex exceptions and working out is my non-negotiable for the day. Like the day isn't over unless I've worked out. So I don't work out and eat good just for the sport but for the lifestyle of it as well. Okay, so part of every, every athlete's career is challenges, whether it be mental, physical or um, financial. We're all gonna experience the highs and the lows of life. We have to experience the lows to experience the highs and I think uh, the key to overcoming everything is just staying constant on a daily basis, focusing on the present and just focusing on your tasks at hand. There's a big thing that happens with the law of causality and the ripple effects of life. If you take action, stuff unfolds and we always got to stay focused on that beauty of life. My goal is uh, definitely to beat some of my rival friends from the other countries uh, such as the Brazilian and uh, the Mexican. Uh, if I could place top four, top three, I'll be really happy with that. But then again, anything can happen on the day. So I just keep on focusing on the present and that's training and being the best version of myself. Again, you can always look at something from two angles and I stay motivated because it's part of my lifestyle. Working out, eating healthy and also enjoying treats. Um, it's all, and having a good mindset, it's all part of my daily lifestyle. So, and as a coach, I need to uh, set the example for my swimmers as well. So everyone's got to stay motivated and keep pushing on. You can only focus on what you can control. Change your mind, change your life. Your daily habits determine who you become as a person. 
Hendrik is undoubtedly making waves and we're right behind him. We cannot wait to see what the future has in store for him and we're sure it will be strikingly bright. Let's make a quick stop to an ad break. We'll be right back. 